Next, the topic is construction of hyperbola. The question may be given like this construct an hyperbola or draw an hyperbola. Eccentricity as 4 by 3, distance of focus from the directrix as 40 mm. Also, the tangent normal at any point on the curve. So, for that, a simple calculation is worked out on the right side of, your, of the drawing sheet. Where eccentricity indicated by a small letter called E is equal to 4 by 3 is given. 4 by 3 is a value greater than 1. So hyperbola will be the curve obtained. And further it is written that based on the eccentricity value, E is equal to 4 parts by 3 parts. And that will be Vf by Vo, the ratio. And further uh, total number of parts will be 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 parts. So as usual, take your draft scale, as we followed for ellipse, parabola and hyperbola will be the same procedure. Only the eccentricity value will differ, that is a difference. And further, uh, ellipse is an uh, closed curve, whereas parabola, hyperbola are open curve. It will not converge, after diverging it will not converge, whereas the ellipse will first diverge and then converge. That is the main difference. So draw a fixed vertical line called less direct x. Take your edge pencil and draw it using a vertical scale of a drafter on a directrix A, B and draw an horizontal line passing using your horizontal scale. So where the line of intersection is marked as a say letter O. Now the distance of focus from the directrix is given as 40 mm. Locate a point at a distance of 40 mm. So in 40 mm means that will be 4 cm. In terms of centimeter it is 4 cm. And dimension that by means of leader line and it can be indicated by providing arrow on both ends of the line. And this letter 40 shall be written by HB pencil. HB pencil 40. And finally, we, have, we may write that we have to write that all dimensions are in mm. No need to put the mm at here. And uh, any other parts that is required, they also need not be marked yet mm at every place, every instant. Finally, it is given as all terms of all dimensions are in mm. Dimension means the length of the line, or size of a circle, square, like that. Whatever the size we use to construct the diagram. So, those are in terms of millimeter that it represents. Now this point is called focus, yeah, where F stands for focus and V stands for vertex, vertex of hyperbola that I have to locate it. So now we are going to divide the total number of parts, that is 7 parts, the segment of OF into 7 equal parts. So total distance is given us, this is a focus from the direct is 40 mm. So 40 divided by 7 will be in decimal, if I may get into not a round number. So therefore we go for a as usual method, draw an inclined line, release your daughter scale, draw an inclined line of any length uh, and it may be of any angle. Draw an inclined line and uh, on this inclined line let me mark uh, 7 parts, I have to mark the 7 equal parts, let me take the distance 70 mm. So 70 divided by how many parts? 7 parts. So the each part will be, each segment, each division that is a part will be 10 mm. Yes, and the remaining length may be erased. So those points are marked as say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now join 7 and point F on focus, release your scale. Adjust your scale and tighten it using the nut provided. Just you tighten firmly. 
don't make over tight just to join 7 and the F on focus with the same setting of the drafter just to slide the scale so that you can draw sim, sim, parallel lines that is inclined parallel lines passing through these marked points labeled as 1 to 7 yes So these points which are which are obtained on the line OF are marked as say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Seventh point is a focus. So this is an easy method to divide a segment given line into n number of parts. Here n is number of parts, how much we require. So next I go to locate the point called vertex V. Such that VF will be 4 parts and VO will be 3 parts. So let me mark at uh, point 1, 2, 3, 4. That is on the uh, third point. So third the division. Third division will be the vertex. So that VF is 1, 2, 3, 4 parts and VO is 3 parts. Next, reset your draft scale. So keep the edge of your draft scale, vertical scale of your draft in coincidence with the directrix. That is the first drawn vertical line. Tight your draft scale. Then draw your vertical line passing through point V. Yes. Now take your compass. Keeping V as center and VF as radius. VF as radius, draw an arc. That arc where it intersects with the vertical line, that point is marked as say Z. And join O Z and extend the line. Z is provided. Now take a draft scale, draw several vertical lines. Let me draw the first vertical line anywhere in between VF, any one or two lines. And after F some several lines may be drawn with equal or unequal gap between the vertical lines. Anywhere it may be drawn. It has no connection with this previous divided points. So adjust your scale such that the scale is not uh, Tilted. So I have to redraw this diagram. This is goes to tapper. I have to I have to properly reset the draft scale. So reset your draft scale to zero degree. That is horizontal scale must be in zero coincidence. That is zero degree angle. Draw a first vertical line. Let me draw it here. This is my first vertical line. So the vertical line where the, it intersects with the horizontal line, that point is marked as say 1, this is point number 1, 1. And where the first vertical line intersects with the inclined line O is that line, that point is marked as the say 1 dash. Similarly, so draw some more uh, vertical lines in between VF or up, away from VF, draw several vertical lines. Let me erase the calculations part due to insufficient space available for constructing the hyperbola. So several vertical lines are drawn. So these lines are drawn by H pencil. Is used to construct construction lines. Edge pencil is preferable. So these points are marked. The vertical lines are marked as those points are this is second vertical line, two two dash, third vertical line three three dash, fourth vertical line four four dash, and let me draw fifth vertical line also. This is this will be fifth vertical line, marked as five five dash.
5 5 dash so now take your compass take the distance 1 1 dash distance in your compass you can get first center if it's called the focus fix it point called the focus that they are on the first vertical line So don't forget, F is always fixed point called focus. With that at uh, center, that they are also on the first vertical line, second vertical line, third vertical line, up to n number of vertical lines can be chosen, uh, drawn. 2, 2 dash, if you get a center, that they are on the third, second vertical line. Next is 3, 3 dash. Four, four dash. And extend the line so that these vertical lines intersect with the arc drawn. Just you extend the lines. So draw a smooth curve, take your HB pencil, draw a smooth curve passing through these points starting from vertex. Vertex starting from vertex to these marked points are that is the arc where it intersects with the vertical line. Those points are marked as say P1, P2. P3, P4. Similarly, this point is will be P4, P3, P2, and P1. So starting from vertex, draw a smooth curve. Similarly, below also is drawn. There should not be vibration, there should not be no vibration, it should be a smooth curve, not ups and down. Shall be drawn like this by a single stroke, not by painting the uh, curve by single stroke. So this is a suitable curve obtained is called as hyperbolic curve or simply hyperbola. Yes. And next it tangent and normal are constructed in usual way as we followed for parabola. Let me mark this as a point called P for this point I am going to draw tangent and normal. So as usual I join P F using any one of the scale of a drafter. So I've taken a somewhat bit of small inclination. So join P anyway, anywhere you can take the point. Join P and F. It seems a vertical line. Okay, anyhow. Using the other scale of your drafter with the same setting, just you tighten your scale after joining P F with the same coincidence. Tighten down the scale. That is P F joined there. Using another scale of a drafter, draw a line passing through point F focus. It comes exactly on the uh, axis itself. So the axis itself will be the T point. Because I have randomly chosen that uh, the axis after joining PF, keep any one of the scale of a drafter over the line PF, so that another scale will be perpendicular to that. 
using the another scale of your drafter, draw a line passing through point F. Point F. This is another scale of your drafter. Using this, I have drawn line like this. So where it intersects with the directrix, that point is minus T. Here T and O are both coinciding coin, coin each other. The TP is already is there. So the, the extended line itself uh, will come as a tangent. And keep it over that line, any one of the scale of a drafter in coincidence with that line. So that another scale will be perpendicular to that. Using the another scale of the drafter, Tangent uh, already drawn, normal is constructed, that is n, n dash. Yes, sir. And finally, all dimensions are in mm is written on the base, uh, that is below the diagram, that is the right side bottom. Yes, this completes the curve, called the hyperbolic curve. Thank you, thank you for listening.